Hello and welcome to The View from the IDB in uh, Nassau. Um, I'm here with Jay Collins, who is the um, Vice Chairman of uh, Global Corporate Investment Banking. So, Jay, thank you for joining me. Uh, you've just completed You've just completed a panel discussion where um, the subject was improving financing to the private sector. What were the key points that were discussed? Well, we talked about um, a number of things, local capital, market development, the importance of capital formation. Um, we talked about infrastructure, and quite frankly, I think that's the, the theme of the day. Uh, infrastructure continues to be a challenge in a growth-starved region. Infrastructure in project finance financings has actually fallen off, fallen off last year. Um, bond financing, project bond financing dropped as well, something that surprised us all. And so we talked about what are the solutions and what are the potential um, areas where the multilateral community can come in and help with risk mitigation strategies that allow the private sector to do, to do more. And what's your view? And what are the key risks that uh, the financial um, sector, the banking sector, is more concerned about when looking at infrastructure in Latin America? Um, well, Latin America is not unique to the world. Quite frankly, these challenges are the same. And, and I would just say um, uh, a number of things. First, construction risk. So, th how to think about um, mitigating construction risk. Um, second is refinancing risk. So we have what we call mini perm structures that are, you know, um, early stage bank financed and then um, move on to the capital markets. But fundamentally, there is a need for the multilateral institutions to take a different approach to risk. So it doesn't help if a commercial or universal bank sits across from a multilateral institution and they think about risk the same way we do. If they think about themselves as a Basel III regulated bank and risk-weighted capital the same way we do, um, then they deploy risk in the same way. When in fact, if you really want to um, to crowd in the private sector across the region. Um, the, the multilateral institutions and the regional development banks ought to be able to take slices of targeted risk. Um, and one of those is construction risk. One of those is foreign exchange risk. Another may be refinancing risk. But to work with us, not to try and take 40% of the whole, um, um, but to take 100% of a targeted um, uh, slice of the capital structure that can facilitate everybody else's ability to make that deal bankable. And are you hopeful that these um, considerations are being taken into account when uh, planning these projects, these infrastructure projects? Well, I think that the fiscal uh, dilemma of the world, the pressure on governments, the slow growth um, is causing governments and policymakers at the highest level in the multilateral institutions to realize that we have to take out a blank piece of paper and fix it. We have to do things differently. And so there's a plethora of these new efforts like GIF at the World Bank, like um, the G20's hub, and like the IEDB effort in a regional Latin America hub um, to put people in a room and think about what the best practices are, how to standardize, how to accelerate concepts that governments have on project financing and, and infrastructure to a bankable deal and bring banks and private sector players into the room to help talk about real best practices. How do we get this bankable? How do we accelerate this together? So people are focused. Um, I'm optimistic that, that this new focus brings a, a, you know, a, new, uh, a new win, but we've got to break more glass because we're really not there yet. Okay. And lastly, um, what sees uh, the most interesting pipeline of infrastructure projects coming out of the region? Um, wow, well I would say um, uh, we love, I certainly love the Peru model. Um, I think the Peru model in terms of conceptualizing risk allocation, local global players, capital markets, um, government participation is huge and so when we look at the, the election this Sunday um, and the results of that, f fundamentally the any new government that comes in is going to be all over infrastructure and they have a model that works. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your colleagues. I'll let you, for your comments, I'll let you go to your super busy schedule uh, here in Nassau um, and so I'm sure we'll cross paths again here. Thank you again. Thank you.